Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how to save laptop battery on Linux with an application called DLP UI. I will have the command listed in the description. The first thing you are going to want to do is sudo at apt repository polinux uprising slash apps. After that you need to do sudo apt update and after that you need to do sudo apt install tlpoe. I will go over the settings and what some good settings are if any of you guys are confused. After you have DLP UI done downloading, open the app. We can see there are very many options but I will try to explain them to you guys as best as I can. As you can see, I have TLP enabled so it is running in the background. I will go over every section with you guys. The audio section is asking if you want to use less battery on your audio. As you can see, there is AAC and a BAT. AC is when you are connected to a charger and BAT is when you are running off your battery. The disk section isn't worth talking about as it will not save you battery. On graphics, you can see I put my GPU at 800 for the minimum amount while it's connected to power. If you want to see your minimum and maximum frequency for your GPU and CPU, you click statistics, and then click complete. As you can see right there, that is my GPU minimum frequency and the maximum frequency. You can also see my CPU minimum and maximum frequency here. I choose a high frequency when I'm on AC and a low frequency when I'm using battery power which will save me battery. Network and PCIe won't help you save a lot of battery either so I'm going to be skipping those sections. The processor I think will help you save the most battery out of all these settings. I picked performance mode when I'm connect to a C which makes your computer faster but uses more battery. I choose power save when I'm using battery because it slows down your computer's CPU, saving you power. Next, the CPU scaling frequency. As you can see, I put a high number for my minimum when I'm connected to a C because I wouldn't need to worry about battery. You can see I put lower numbers for when I'm using battery power. CPU energy perf policy is another thing where I would just keep it at performance on a C and balance power while on battery. Down here you can see CPU boost, which overclocks your CPU. I choose the boost only while I'm connected to a C because it uses more power. CPU HWPDY and boost is basically the same thing. Here you can see I have sked power save on bar save on battery because it helps save you battery. Now I will show you example of how it works. As you can see, I am connected to power. You can also see that the frequency my CPU is at is very high. That is how it should be for you guys because when you are connected to power, you are not losing any battery. Now watch what happens to the frequency of my CPU when I unplug my charger. As you can see, the frequency of my CPU went down significantly. Now I will be doing a CPU stress test while connected to power. And when I am not connected to power. As you can see, when I'm connected to power, the frequency of my CPU is very high. The CPU got a speed of 3018 while connected to power. As you can see, the frequency is a lot lower when I am using my battery. The CPU got a speed of 1303 when using battery. That is less than half the performance when it is connected to a charger. You can see how this application could help you save a lot of battery. That is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and comment your favorite setting on DLP UI. 